today, I want to talk about this question with you guys. This question is from the Harvard-MIT math tournament in the year of 2024. And here's the question. A circle is tangent to both branches of the hyperbola, and the circle is also tangent to the x-axis. Our goal is to find the area of the circle. And now you might be wondering, isn't this just a standard calculus one question? I agree, but the reason that I'm making this video is because of their official students. There are two of them, and they didn't use any calculus, but I have no idea how they came up with the conditions and the equation. So this is what we are going to do. I would like to just show you the calculus students right here. And if you know how they came up with the conditions in the official students, please leave a comment down below and let me know. OK, here we go. First, we have this hyperbola x squared minus 20y squared. So we know it's a left-right branch, and the center of this is going to be a 0, 0. So here we go. We are just going to look at a picture first. So I will put it down like this and like that. Just a sketch, all right? And now we have to have a circle that's tangent to both this and that, and also the x-axis. In fact, there are two possibilities. I can have a circle up here, what down here, but doesn't matter because it's very symmetrical anyway. I'm just going to find the circle like this. If you put it down below, well, they will have the same area anyway. Now, this equation here is given, we know x squared minus 20y squared equals 24, but how would you write the equation of this blue circle? We need two things, the center and the radius. So for the center, it must be on the y-axis because it's symmetrical. And then you see that right here. I'm just going to put this down here right here. And now because the circle is tangent to the x-axis, so we know from here to here must be the radius r. But I don't know what r is. I'll just keep it as r. So based on this, I know the center will be at 0, r. And now the equation will just be x minus 0 squared plus y minus r squared equals the radius squared. Hmm? Just like that. So how can we set up conditions to solve this? Firstly, they tangent to each other, so they must have the same x and y. So that's the first condition. We must have the same x and y. From here, we can say this equation, x squared minus 20y squared equals 24. Look at this and also that. From here, we can just add a 20y on both, 20y squared on both sides. So this is x squared equals 20y squared plus 24. And then put this right here. So we will get 20y squared plus 24. And let me just expand this. So we get y squared minus 2yr plus r squared equals r squared. Combine like terms. This and that is 21y squared. And then this right here is just by itself. So minus 2yr plus the 24 here. And then r squared, r squared cancel. So we just have this equal to 0. So as you can see, this right here will be the first condition that we have. But notice we have y and r, so we better have another condition in order to help us out, right? So let me just write this down right here first. 21y squared minus 2yr plus 24 equals 0. Now, how do we come up with another condition though? Well, this is where the calculus comes in. Notice the circle is tangent to the hyperbola. At the point of tangency, well, they must have the same slope. In another word, they must have the same derivative. So let's just go ahead and write down. We must have the same dy dx. So let's take a look right here first. Let's just go ahead, look at this equation, and take the derivative implicitly because the y is not isolated. So when we do that, our first equation will be the derivative of this is 2x, and then the derivative of this with respect to x. 
put a 2 to the front, we have minus 40y to the first power. But don't forget to multiply by the derivative of y, which is dy dx, because it's with respect to x. And then the derivative of 24 is just 0, so done deal. Then we do the same thing right here. We are going to look at this equation and then take the derivative of it with respect to x. So we get 2x, put a 2 to the front, and then use the chain rule right here. So we will get plus 2 parentheses y minus r, and then the dy dx, and the derivative of r squared. Remember, r is just a constant, so we will also get 0 here. Now to continue, I would like to just look at the first equation and isolate the dy dx. So move this to the other side and divide that on both sides. We get dy dx equals negative 2x over negative 40y. Reduce, we will get x over 20y. And then for the second equation, I would like to do the same. Move this to the other side and divide that on both sides. So dy dx will be equal to negative 2x over 2y minus r. Reduce, we get negative x over y minus r. And then I would like to set this and that equal to each other. So that will give us x over 20y equals negative x over that. Now, we have a lot of variables here, it's not that good, right? But first, detail, notice that they both have x on the numerator. And in fact, if you look at the picture right here, or well, look at this right here, you know for sure that x has to be greater than 0. So, that means x is not equal to 0. That means we can divide both sides by x. That means the x doesn't matter. So right here, we are going to get just 1 over 20y equals negative 1 over y minus r. And then perhaps let's just cross multiply or do whichever way that you like. We get y minus r equals negative 20y. And then I would just like to move this to the other side. We get 21y minus r equals 0. And remember, we're trying to find the area of the circle. So I would like to get y by itself. Move the r to the other side and divide the 21 both sides. y equals r over 21. So right here, the second equation is just that y equals r over 21. So finally, combining these two conditions, I'm just going to put this into the y here and also the y here. Then we are going to see that we have 21 times y, which is r over 21 squared minus 2y. y is r over 21, and then another r, and then plus 24, that is equal to 0. All right, work this out. This right here is 21 times r squared over 21 times 21 minus this is just 2r squared over 21 plus 24. All right, this and that cancel. So they do have 21 on the bottom. So this 1 minus 2, which is negative r squared over 21 plus 24, that's equal to 0. Move this to the other side, or we'll move this to the other side, and then multiply 21 both sides. So you get r squared equals 21 times 24. And work that out, of course, we get 504. This is really cool though, it's actually very nice. Because, of course, we want to find the area of the circle. It's like this. And now we know r. Well, I don't know r. Well, I do know r. r is just a square root of 504. Yeah? But anyway though, the area of this is just pi r squared. But we know r squared is this already, so 504 pi, just like that. So that's the answer for this question. And seriously, if you look at the official solution, the first one says, inferred about the unit circle, 
centered it at the origin, omega turns into a horizontal line. And then you get that equation. Like, I really have no idea how they got that. Solution 2. I was hoping that I was able to understand solution 2, but I didn't. Y they A, B, the Y coordinate of point of potential and then somehow they got X squared minus 20Y squared plus C times Y minus A squared is equal to 24. I have no idea how that part, C times parentheses Y minus A squared, come out.